What's going on YouTube? It's that comic guy Chris. And guess what? Today we're going to Lexington Comic Con. So I'm up. It's about 6 a.m. I'm going to get ready to get Zebra up. We're going to get uh, got all our crap ready to go, ready to hit the road. It's supposed to be some rain today, so hopefully it don't delay us too much getting there. Uh, we get there early, get our tickets, get in. It's a lot of extra security measures this year, which makes me feel great. You know, I like feeling uh, secure when I'm there, so kudos to those guys for upping the security to get in. And, uh, hey, let's go wake Xavier up. Here we go. We'll go in here and wake Xavier up. He's somewhere in here. Let's see. Oh, let's see if we can find him. Xavier. Yeah. Xavier. Yeah. We missed the comic convention. Ah! No! No! Yeah, it snowed. There's all sorts of snow outside. Stupid snow! Can't go. Why can't you do so? Why can't you just wait for Monday? I can skip out on school. No, nah, I'm just kidding, man. There's no snow. Woo! We can go well, to Comic Con, awesome. baby. Yeah! Yeah. All right. Get your butt out of bed. <laughs> well, it's 6:50. We're getting ready to hit the road. Um, the rain hasn't started yet, but it's getting ready to. Looks like. Yeah. Uh, Xavier's ready. He's got yep. all his gear on. Um, he's going to be doing some recording for me. He's my cameraman today. Uh, so he's got the GoPro strapped to his head. So we're going to get a lot of good shots and uh, it's going to be a fun time. Yep. So we got a two hour drive ahead of us. Probably a stop at McDonald's along the way. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you guys around.
right guys we're back from the inside of the con we're completely wore out yeah <laughs> uh we learned a valuable lesson today this con has grown way too big to take in in one day to walk around record shop and all that stuff it's just it's too big so and next year out with your friends yeah probably next year oh. looking like a two-day event at least if we can get Friday in, that would be good too, but definitely gonna have to do Saturday and Sunday. And probably, we'll, we'll try for the height, we'll stay there. Well, probably don't have that kind of money spend, but who knows, might win the lottery between now and then. <laughs> but uh, we got a whole crap load of stuff back there. When we get home, uh, we'll do some videos of unboxing it all. Uh, I actually got a couple of mystery things over like those, so we'll do some yeah. unboxing. We'll probably do individual videos on them, but, uh, the rest of probably at the end of this video we'll show you what we got and i got some cool stuff uh xavier you like what you got yeah yeah so uh right now we're gonna head out and uh, eat with some friends um check out this new burger place all right Bye. all right guys it's nine o'clock we finally made it back home yep uh i'm exhausted I, my allergies are acting up i'm i'm killing my head's exploding but we're gonna we're going to power through this, and we're going to show you guys what we got. Uh, Zara, go ahead, and we'll let you start you out. want to start off? Go ahead. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with some of the FNAF stuff that I bought. The, fir the first item that I bought was a Bonnie pin from the first game. Second thing I got is this really cool... Let's see if you guys can see this. But a really cool 3D or 2D... Uh, free and then I finally got the book that I've been waiting for Freddy Fall. I got some more perler bead stuff. I got me a Glaceon, an Eevee, and a Game Boy Keychain. I also got a Jolteon plush, which I was very happy to get, and two Animal Gen things because these were, I found these for really cheap. So, oh. Plus, Dad, you want to show them? Go ahead. Look her up there. Okay. I spent $50 on this, and I think that it was totally worth this. Oh, it's a huge, huge box. Yeah, yeah it's a mystery box. I'm happy to, I'm going to be happy to open it. Yeah, we'll open that in a different video. Um, so, look forward to that. It'll come up the next day or so. Uh, let's see. What did I pick up? Uh, let's see. They gave these away. Yeah. A little Wait. raffle thing. <laughs> Yeah. If I can get it open here. There we go. It's oh, a there's Superman. Superman sticker and Flash, Flash. which Flash I wanted. I oh, think I think there's another one. Yeah. Green Lantern. Green Lantern. I wish I'd opened this earlier. I would have given that to my boy Nathan. Okay. And we'll send this one to Thad, looks like. <laughs> he likes that stuff. And then you'll get the Flash. Oh, yeah. Press. Give me the Flash. Uh, I mostly spent mine on comics. So I uh, picked Ooh. up a copy of New Warriors number one. Uh, three bucks on it. Glad to get it. That's a comic that I really enjoy. Uh, got this uh, reprint of Giant Size X-Men number one. Picked it up for two bucks. Definitely think it's worth it. It's in really good shape. Uh, it's a newsprint one. They had a, a direct edition one. They wanted five for it, and I didn't really feel like doing that. So uh, then we got another copy of First Mr. Sinister. Uh, Ten dollars. So there's a small crease on the back. I thought for 10 bucks, it's definitely worth it. We'll throw it in with the other one. It's really the only Uncanny X-Men issue I hoard up like that. Uh, I almost passed this one by. It is Excalibur 75 with the, you know, the full cover. I, pass, I was going to pass it by. It's just a, a normal dollar comic. Uh, but uh, my buddy Nathan was flipping through and he said, hey, this one's signed. And uh, it's cool. It's signed by Scott Lobdell. So... Five bucks. I thought it was worth it because I don't have his signature in my collection. It has this certificate here. and They've done this a lot in the 90s, so it's it's a legit thing. It's definitely worth five bucks. Uh, I'll pick this up for my buddy Thad. It is a Faith Trade paperback. And it's really cool because this one is a Hastings variant. I have never seen a trade paperback come in a variant before. Uh, but I know he's a fan of Faith. In a series and i like it too but you know i wanted to pick him up a little something so four bucks is a great deal on that uh picked this guy up four dollars for a second print of bishop's first appearance 
I didn't have this one in the collection, so I definitely wanted to grab that. Uh, we got X-Men 139. Uh, let's see. Ended up paying 14 for that one. Uh, X-Men 105. I uh, gave 20 for that one. Let's see. Another one I was glad to get out of the way. 112. Uh, I believe we got four bucks for that one, so I'm very happy. Definitely needed that. Uh, we got 114. Gave six for this one. And this one is 132. I uh, gave seven for this one. Uh, let's see. This one I wanted. I wanted this one for a long time. This is 123. It's got that sweet arcade cover where they're in the giant pinball machine. Uh, I only ended up giving, uh, it's got 16 on the cover, but I only gave eight for it. Uh, awesome. <laughs> Always glad. It. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Uh, been looking for this one for a while. This is the Uncanny X-Men at the Texas State Fair. This is a promo only given out in the uh, uh, a newspaper in Texas quite a while back. So I've been looking for this. Glad to pick it up. Uh, let's see. Then, uh, I picked up this reprint issue of X-Men uh, 97 is what it's got on it, but it's definitely not issue 97. Uh, but uh, it's uh, first appearance of Havoc, but it's uh, Marvel Legends, but I needed it for the collection anyway. Uh, it's just three bucks. A mm -hmm. uh, guy actually discounted it to zero with the deal that I worked with him. So I got through it and so did this one. Uh, this is the first appearance of Domino. Uh, I ended up getting it thrown in for free. It's not in mint condition or anything. It is complete. It's got a little rough around the edges. But, uh, you know, first appearance. Uh, decent shape. I'll take it. And this is my big purchase. Uh, She-Hulk number one. Uh, very glad to get this. I can join the Jason Harris Club now. Mr. Uh, 47 copies of this issue. I got my one. So I'm good. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, I bought some mystery boxes as well. I got the Comic Con box. Yay. So we'll be opening this later. And because we and bought two boxes, uh, we, got a shirt. we got this. It's supposed to have a shirt in it. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have one in Zaber's size, so I just uh, went ahead and got it. Mine. But yeah, you can have the cool box. Yeah. Um, anyway, guys, that's about all I've got left in the tank. I am completely wore out. First, before we leave, there is something I want to ask you. What was your best pickup of the day? Definitely the She Hulk number one. My favorite would have to be the Jolteon. It is a pretty sweet Jolteon. I ain't going to last much longer, guys. No. Uh, I'm going to go take some night. We'll go to bed. I'm wore out. Um, Xavier, let's say goodbye. Bye. See you guys.